We got Terry. Yes, yes. Let's put yes. some light for you, man. Oh, yeah. There you go. You ready, boy? Yes, yes. Boy. Lovely yes. stuff. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Who we got in the back here? Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> guys. What's up, gents? Hundred Ready for some action? What's up? What's up, guys? We are here in Amkumas, but we're not fishing in Amkumas. We are going to Port Edward today. We have to work for fishing. We have to work for fishing, guys. Doing Port Edward today and uh, lovely weather. We'll chat a little bit later about everything else. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Culture and we are in Port Edward. It's been a long drive, um, lovely weather, there is a slight southwesterly blowing and um, sea conditions are looking lovely. So as you can see behind me, we are here at the lighthouse and uh, yeah guys, Hopefully uh, today we uh, get on to some lovely fish. You guys know what I'm targeting, so I'm not going to tell you. And um, if ever there's a place to get it, it's here in Port Edward, guys. So, hope you guys enjoy this uh, episode. We, um, we have a variety of bait today. I've got some pink prawn, I've got some chocker, I've got a little bit of sea lice, which I've brought with. And, um, uh, as I said, we're here at the lighthouse. I just brought the guys down to go get some crab, and um, yeah, then we're gonna head to our spot. Water conditions are looking lovely. Hey, Dad. Members are ready. You must just put like this here and make. Oh wow! Oh wow! See, telling the stories before they can start fishing here. Huh? Come here. Mel? Yeah, boy. What, what are you fishing with today, Pa? Pa? Oh, crab. He don't know himself. <laughs> Mel only knows he one don't thing. Know crab. Pa? Ah, Ready, boy? I only got my lumens here. Lovely. One Julian? Poseidon kingfish here. Oh, there Number we go. One. There we go. There and we go. finally, I can say the march is on. Guys, we are in Port Edward and I'm loving what I see. Overcast day. Mel is uh, making his way on that side. Got Terry and Covey already in the front. And I'm um, carrying my luggage. But I never packed very heavy today, guys. I didn't carry the big box, just a small blue bag. Um, <clears throat> this type of fishing, rock fishing especially, if you're targeting uh, Kalyun, bronze bream, blacktails, Muscle cracker. <laughs> you don't have to um, pack heavy, guys. Pack as light as possible. All you need is your sinkers, a couple of soles, a couple of hooks, and uh, obviously your bait, and you're good to go. So <clears throat> I'm sure you guys know. You know, not not every spot has fish, so you gotta move around. And to carry heavy equipment, not the easiest to do. So yeah, guys. 
this is the first spot that we'll be fishing in. Yeah. That water is looking lovely, guys. Lovely. It's uh, full high tide and um, <coughs> overcast conditions, as you can see. We'll be fishing the going out water. So full high was, I think, 30 minutes ago. So we'll be fishing going out. And it's three days after springtime. So guys, stay Chapella tuned. gets the first pull. And, and, and what a... Uh, come on, Capella. Oh man, I'm also getting a bite here. Come on, Capella. What you got there? What is that? Stinker! First fish for the day, guys. <laughs> Bandit Kalyun. Very tiny. So I decided to leave the guys and come to uh, one of my favorite spots in Port Edward. Uh, they stood on the first spot. It was fairly quiet when I was there. So I decided to move on and see what's here. So the place that we're fishing now guys, um, in fact this particular spot here, it's noted for very big stone grip. Um, I've seen some good good sized stone grips coming out here, I'm talking between 2 kilo and 2.5 and kilo. So hey, I'm getting a good bite guys, something came forward. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there we go, in front. In front, guys, fish on. Feels like a lovely fish, too. Just talking about the stone brim, guys. And it looks like it is a stone brim. Wow, yeah! <laughs> Black Prim! My second one! <laughs> wow! Black Prim, guys! How's that? Wow! <laughs> you just made my day, guys! I just a quick, quick measure from the snout to the tail. And as you can see at the fork, go closer now so the guys can see. 350 at the fork, guys. Right? Absolutely beautiful fish. We're gonna keep this there one. There we go. Our first fish for today. A beauty of a black beef, guys. Look at that. Really, really happy. This fish has just made my trip. Everything else after this will be a bonus. Absolutely, yeah. Exciting. Yeah, something there. Eh? Oh, gosh, going behind the rock. Is it a bronze brim? Yeah. Looks like a nice bronzy. Yo, 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 yo. There we go, guys. <laughs> How's that? Let's go measure him up quickly. Ah, definitely size here, boy. Definitely size. Okay. This here. To the fork. Three sixty. 360 to the fork. So guys, second spot wasn't too bad. Managed to get a lovely uh, Kalyun. 
and a beautiful bronze brim and also a stony so yeah quite happy with that I'm now heading to the third spot that I like um, this spot is what I call the danger zone there's a lot of big fish there and I say big fish I'm talking mostly about the white mussel cracker and as this water is dropping nicely I just hope that we get onto get onto one I just want to fight that fish it's always got the better of me I think uh, for the past month I think I had like three muscle cracker pulls and uh, yeah the score is 3-0 no? <laughs> so it's got the better of me but uh, hoping today I can get one up on it quite a long march I would say five to ten minutes so yeah the march is on Capella on there Looks like a nice bronzy Yeah, nice fat one Whoa, what a lovely size bronzy Well done, pick him up, pick him up <laughs> Well done, well done <laughs> Kill it there, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Check the size of this black tail. Well done, Pa. Nice bronzy. Come in. Thank you. Shot. Put stop, put stop. <laughs> At Terry spot. Yes. Okay, time for some lunch, guys. So we're gonna break for lunch. 10 minutes and we're back in the water. Guys, nothing fancy with this bait. Simple pink prawn bait. Right. We split it in half. Right. And turn it inside out. Just like that. A little bit of cotton. A little bit in the front and tighten up on your shank. that your hook is proud that's it guys Terry dragged me to the spot here and as we were having a chat I, I thought I saw a bronzy come in very close to the seaweed that you see right in the front here right here around here I saw the bronzy come up so Let's put a bait in this channel and see what's here. Certain I saw something. Let's see if I saw correct. Let's check what's here. Right in the front guys, these bronzes come and feed onto the seaweed. And if you notice, there's a lot of seaweed on those rocks. A lot of seaweed. And that's why these bronzes in Port Edward are so fat, because they feed onto these things. Something on. <laughs> Something small. See what it is. Ah, there we go. Hey, Teddy's got something there. What is that? What? Oh, okay, a small. Is that a, a cat face rock art? Cat face.
Well done. No, I got you. Oh, man. Oh, there. So that's what I was showing. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm at the spot that I that I wanted to come to. What's is looking quite nice here. And let's see what we get here. A lot of deep holes. You gotta watch your step. Let's see guys, this water is looking like like there is a muscle pressure somewhere. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one. Let's go, guys. It's definitely got something on here. So this gave it a little bit loose line. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it's still stuck. It's still there. It's still there. Oh guys, whatever it is, it's big. is there but a brush would have bust out now man check here check here guys what a lovely fish on here I'm just gonna give it some time just give it a little bit of time Hopefully it comes off. Guys, that was a good bite. And he's still there, I can feel him. Huh? Yes. Look at you. 
It's a lack of fish, guy. Yeah, it could be a could be a small brush. <laughs> there, you're getting a bite there. Yeah. You got him. Pop also on there. You under me, boy. You over me with it. Right, go. Copper. Oh, there we go. Lovely copper. Good stuff. Good stuff. So I'm guessing that I've got a copper on here as well. A brusher would have de definitely took me off the rock. Ah, this is a bronzy. This is a bronzy on. Definitely. And that's what happens when you fish with double hooks, guys. <laughs> you must be prepared to get stuck. And this is exactly what happened. The thing is, I don't know if he took the bottom hook or he took the top hook. Guys, I also think there's a lot of fair fish in the water. Something definitely took my bait forward. big fish Yee -hee. are we are we getting the species or what how's that rock hard i need to get this guy out and release him he's definitely under the size Bugger. Give me a break. I'm trying to save your life. There we go, guys. He's out. He's gonna drop him in this pool. Ah, he's gonna be fine there. the black brim <laughs> okay guys uh, just gonna do a quick measure up on a on that Khalyun and let's see if he's size or not okay let's do a quick measurement all right guys from the fork to the mouth and here's a little bugger 310 so <laughs> size for Kalyun guys please take note it's 350 so this guy has to be released okay let's get him back in the water what a beautiful fish guys look at it There's a catch in a fish like this. Okay guys, I'm gonna take this a little bit further away. So 
away from Covey and Mel so they don't, so they don't spook the show <laughs> yeah I think here is fine guys Melly on looks like first bronze for the day for Melly. Mel, you got your flash frame, Gazi. You got your cousin. <laughs> Lift him up there, boy. Oh, what a lovely size, man. What a lovely size. Lift him up, Mel. Oh. Shot man. Guys, look at look at this guys. Look at this. Look real. Well done. Well done my man. My guys, how's the space on that rock man? Yes, yes. fish biting and the O's don't want don't wanna leave a space for me. That's fine. That's fine, I'll find another hole. <laughs> Guys are having a lovely time on the beach at Port Edward. Beautiful fish biting. Lots of species, different species. Lovely day guys. Lovely day at Port Edward. That's how we do it in Port Edward! Woohoo! <laughs> So guys, once again, thank you so much.